We're on lesson five, line symmetry. Before we move on, please make sure that you look at your rubric. Rate yourself, tell me where you're at, circle it, and we're going to get to it. So line symmetry. A line of symmetry is a line that divides a figure, a shape or object in half, so that each side is equal, thereby making a mirror image. So here's an example of a heart. If I were to fold this heart in half, it would lay over itself exactly. Same with this triangle here, and this looks kind of like a mountain or a semicircle. Now down here are not examples of line of symmetry, okay? Here we don't have a line of symmetry because if we folded the top down, we'd have this weird point and it wouldn't work. Here if we folded the arrow down, we'd have a point here, right? And then here my star, I have one, two, three points on top, two points on the bottom. If you folded that, it wouldn't work, all right? Here are some shapes that have more than one line of symmetry. A circle has an infinite number of lines of symmetry. You can cut it in half over and over again, and it will keep having symmetry. A square has more than one line of symmetry. All right. Here is a hexagon, more than one line. A diamond and a rectangle, more than one line of symmetry. So let's look at this shape. Let's think, does this have a line of symmetry anywhere? If I were to cut it here, if I were to fold it in half, the arrows wouldn't work, would they? So this has no lines of symmetry. Okay, it wouldn't work. Let's look at this. This H, I can fold in half that way and have a line of symmetry. I can also fold it in half this way and have a line of symmetry. So there are two lines of symmetry. Here we have this diamond. You can cut it in half here. You can cut it in half here. You can also cut it along the diagonals. So this has four lines of symmetry. Okay, the horse. I can't cut it in half this way because the tail and the head would run into each other. And I can't cut it in half the other way because the head and the feet would run into each other. So this has no lines of symmetry. All right, let's look at this shape. You could cut it in half this way and the triangles would fold over each other and they would work. You could also fold it across this way. All right, so you'd have two lines of symmetry. All right, this diamond shape, you can kind of cut it like an X, so you could fold it this way. You could cut it like this, fold it this way. You could cut it up and down, fold it in half like that, or like this, sorry. And then you could cut it up and down, fold it down. So this has four lines of symmetry. For homework tonight, I would like you to look at this. You're going to look at the shape. Is it symmetrical, yes or no? And numbers of lines of symmetry for every single one of these shapes. So just go ahead and draw that in your notebook. After you're done with that, please look again at your learning goal rate yourself, put a triangle around it, let me know how you're doing. Good job today and I will see you tomorrow.